Hello friends, welcome back to another AI tutorial. My name is Iman. This is Iman Global YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a stoning videos with Canva text to video AI. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Canva is a free online graphic design website that allows you to easily create various types of graphics without any prior design knowledge for social media posts, promotional banners, logos, profile pictures, and even posters and presentation slides. Canva has a variety of templates and ready-made designs that you can customize to your liking by changing colors, text, and photos. It also has features such as resizing, rotating, applying different effects, and more to help you create professional-looking designs easily. In addition, Canva has a vast library of images, a wide range of graphic elements, and various types of text and fonts that you can use in your designs. Today, we're going to talk about one of the new and exciting features of this site called Canva Text-to-Video AI. Using artificial intelligence, Canva provides users with the ability to convert text to video. You can type the text you want, and Canva uses artificial intelligence technology to turn it into an attractive and professional video. The main advantage of this feature is that you don't need to create video content from scratch anymore. You can simply type text and create videos for various purposes, such as advertising, education, and reports. So if you want to easily create short and attractive videos, I recommend you try the Canva text-to-video AI feature. In the following, I will teach you how to use this new Canva feature in detail. In the beginning, we visit the website canva.com. By using the sign-up option, we create a completely free user account. After logging in and entering the dashboard, we click on the apps option from the menu on the left. For easier access to Canva's AI-powered services, we select the AI-powered option. Now, to access the text-to-video service, we choose the magic media option. In the opened window, I select use a new design. In the drop-down list, I click on video. We have now reached the Canva AI services section, and I select the video tab. In this section, there is a text box for entering prompts. We need to enter the idea we want to turn into a video in this text box, and a video will be created based on it. You can test default Canva prompts in this regard using the try an example option. I choose one of Canva's default prompts and now click on the generate video button. After a short period, the video will be ready and you will see its thumbnail. By clicking on the thumbnail, I add it to my workspace in the center of the page. After that, by right-clicking and using the set video as background option, I align it with the workspace dimensions. Using the play button, we can preview it. At the top right of the page, there is a share button. I click on it, and from the drop-down list, I choose the download option. The download settings are suitable by default, and now I click on the purple download button to save the video file to my system's hard drive. Let's step away from Canva's default prompts and try a new custom prompt. The prompt text is as follows. A small fairy of blue light. She is a mystical being with butterfly wings and a gentle glow. The fairy represents nature and its beauty. I paste this prompt text into the text box and click the generate video button. After a short while, a video is generated based on the prompt. By clicking on the video's thumbnail, it is added to the workspace. By right-clicking on the video and selecting the set video as background option, I align it with the workspace dimensions. We play it. If I'm not satisfied with this generation, I can change the prompt text, but I click on the Generate Again option to see a new result. Now, I right-click and select the option to clear the previous video. By clicking on the thumbnail of the new video, I add it to the workspace. By right-clicking on the video and selecting the set video as background option, I align it with the workspace dimensions. We play it and the video is almost static. In the next step, I will teach you how to add camera movements to make the videos more dynamic. In Canva's artificial intelligence-powered text-to-video feature, you have the ability to apply various styles to videos. To do this, you should follow the formula when writing your prompt. According to this formula, you need to include the prompt text and then the words. In the style of followed by the desired video style, so that the AI can generate the video accordingly. Take this example into consideration. The prompt text is as follows. A sunset over the ocean in the style of professional cinematography. Now, I click on the generate video option. Shortly after, the video is ready with the desired style. By clicking on the video's thumbnail, 
I add it to the workspace. By right-clicking and selecting the Set Video as Background option, it aligns with the workspace. The color, framing, and movement of the clouds here truly exemplify professional cinematography. If you want to have a drone shot in your videos using the Canva Textio video system, it's possible. You can even have a close-up shot. With the formula you see in the video, you can select and apply open and close shots to your videos and achieve cinematic perspectives. The prompt is as follows. Aerial drone footage of beautiful beaches. I click the generate video button. After that, I add the footage to my workspace by clicking on the thumbnail. Then I right click on it and select the set video as background option. Now, based on the prompt, we have a drone shot in the video. In Canva text to video, you have the option to choose the lens. You can select the appropriate lens to achieve a wide angle view or a low angle view. It might be hard to believe, but you can even choose a macro lens for your videos. We want to experience macro videography with the text to video system. The prompt text is as follows. An ant carrying a piece of food, macro lens. I click the generate video button. After a brief moment, the video is generated. By clicking on the thumbnail, I add it to the workspace. Then, by right-clicking on the video and selecting set video as background, it is adjusted to the workspace dimensions. Now, we have a special view with a macro lens and a heavy depth of field. After generating the text, you can add effects and animations to it. To do this, click on the T icon in the left side menu. Text options will be displayed. Now, click on the Add Text Box option. You can drag the text to your desired location. Edit the text within the text box. After selecting the text, you can change its font from the drop-down list. You can also increase or decrease the text size by clicking on the positive and negative signs. Resizing the text box is possible by dragging its handles. You can even adjust the letter spacing. Select the text and click on the colorful A icon to change the text color. Clicking on the Effects button gives you access to text effects, which can be applied to your text with a single click. By clicking on the Animate button, you can access text animation options, and applying them to your text is just a click away. All of the footage you see here was generated by me using a variety of prompts in the Canva text-to-video system. It's worth noting that Canva uses Runway ML AI, and if you follow me, I have a full Runway ML tutorial on my channel. In the free Canva panel, you have up to 5 credits to generate videos. In general, text-to-video AI models in the world have flaws, and Canva is no exception. But the good news is that they are evolving and the flaws we see in them today will soon be resolved. Ignoring and belittling text-to-video AI models is simply not logical. We must accept the new rules of the world and adapt to text-to-video AI technology so that we can use its benefits in the future. Otherwise, we will lose. I'm doing my best to provide comprehensive and quality tutorials for you. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please like the video and share it with your friends. There are new tutorials on artificial intelligence coming soon, and if you're interested in this topic, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the upcoming tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.